On tonight's video, local man goes for a light jog, we imitate the Mercedes F1 car porpoising, and get up close and personal with gravel traps. Hey, what's up guys, Arava here, and welcome back to a brand new video here today, where we are playing the MotoGP 22 career mode. And very much like what I think are some strobe lights trying to stay on behind this kind of intro screen, and then they just turn straight off, that is going to be the length and the success rate of this career mode. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, 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 a very nice snazzy way to enter the main menu. I'm li I'm liking what I'm seeing already. Played this game a few weeks ago early and we checked out this nine season 2009 where you relive the most iconic moments of the incredible 2009 season. Uh, obviously that four way championship battle and you get to play through kind of from Rossi's perspective, uh, but also take the, take the reins of other riders as well. So if you're a, a hardcore MotoGP fan, I, I, even I played a little bit of this and I know that this is a really awesome, a different mode to play entirely away from the actual career mode. So definitely, definitely something to check out if you're a MotoGP fan. But we want to delve into the career mode. Take the reins of your own destiny. Start a new managerial career with your custom rider and take the Moto 3, 2 and GP class titles. Let's go. I, of course, someone of my caliber, I'll be taking all of them in one foul swoop. That's it. That's just how we roll here. As usual with the MotoGP career modes, very, very thorough. Very, I'm quite jealous, actually, a lot of the time with the amount of detail there is in this game. Like, like F1 fans, can you imagine this level of detail you're about to see in Formula 1 games? It's actually quite mad. Milestone doing an insane job. Uh, we're going to delve straight into the MotoGP class. Not going to bother with the, the lad. We're just gonna say I've won them, okay? Oh, oh, this is new. This wasn't here last, uh, last game, I don't think. We've got the official 2022 season. We've got an intermediate and short calendar. This is made for me. They knew, they knew I was gonna play this game for one video. This is it, short calendar season. Sign me up. Is there a reason why the personal manager from the get-go just so happens to be the same complexion as me. I've got my eyes on you, Milestone. Are you tracking my personal data? Do you, are you spying on me? How do you know? How do you... Okay, first step of your career, join a team. Uh, hi, we need to hire a personal manager. Okay, so this is the guy, the Donny, that's gonna get us the most cash. So if I don't get a fat paycheck at the end of this career mode, it's this guy's fault. Signing on bonus month... Annual salary? 104k? What am I paying him to do? Give me a massage at the end of every Grand Prix. Look, we're in Imola this weekend, so I think we should go with the Italian. And to be honest, out of all of these guys, doesn't Frederico look like the kind of guy that could sell you anything? He's just going to sell you a car that you don't need, and he's going to get you for a price that's like 150000 more than you actually wanted. And for that reason, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired. And Frederico, you got the job. Get me a fat bonus. Search the con contract with factory teams, or we can establish, or we can go for the establishment of new teams. The paddock is always a stir. Occasionally, there may be new sponsors interested in establishing new teams. So this is basically like my team career mode in MotoGP. Uh, they might be less prestigious, but they give the opportunity to take part in exclusive activities like creating a new livery. We've got to do that. We've got to make our own livery. It has to be done. Annual sal- 600k. Annual salary. Start, sign me up, yes. Race objective, top 15. I think that's doable. Top 15, even for someone as inept as me, top 15's doable. This is one of the sponsors that we can go. There, there's 600k. KTM Hertz. Three, that, three, what a step down. About half the salary. And look at the low. Hertz, by the way, no, not going for it. I know maybe the logo and colors is more interesting, but the, I, just Hertz in the name sounds wrong. It just it just doesn't sound premium, upper echelon. Although, to be fair, Hertz is exactly what I'll be when I crash out the first race. But even more so, I'm gonna need parts from Europe when that happens. Hey, hey, hey. I'll stop. We've signed on. Player one is ready. I think you'll agree that's literally that that's actually just me. That is just me. As usual, the MotoGP games, you can create your own helmet from scratch. There's even downloads, apparently, so you can upload your designs. Or oh, there's some pretty damn cool ones, anyway. 
are already available. And this one's actually pretty cool. This is very, this is, this reminds you of Lando's colors. So we're going to choose this helmet, actually. Number editor. Here we go. Okay. Add layer. Ooh, love this. Okay, we've got a lot to work with. Yeah. Yeah. Liking that. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm good with that. We've got rider stickers to put on his ass. That's always, uh... Yeah, an interesting thing. Ro rocket Man on the back. Now, where's the rocket going? Because that's a very questionable thing to be putting on that rear end. Right, I think that will do it. Yeah, I uh, went in and created my own one. Uh, help, I'm so bad. And the uh, L is in red because I'll be taking nothing but L's today. You can change gloves, knee sliders, boots, suit, every. It's, it's like F1 life. Meets MotoGP, meets my team. It's mad. Riding style. Now, this is very important. Riding style. Shoulders out, elbows to the ground, centered. That I'm not centered. Balanced. Um, old school. Oh god. This is quite important because this will actually the most common riding style. Balanced. Modern style allows to main no increase popular. Perfect lean. Mm, riding style shoulders out body out old school where they didn't manage today's lean angles and weight was less this this you know what this is actually me old school no massive turn in an angle sort of just vibing on the bike in the middle breaking leg out yeah i'm gonna need my leg out to stop my fall when i fall off the bike feet at the start yeah both feet that i mean it'd be ideal to have both feet on the bike to be honest uh, and breaking fingers now i don't know what this means but Four is better than two in one. Right, that's our guy. Now it's time for our bike. Okay, livery-wise, I can change the colors now. So let's go for, yeah, let's go for this neon gray. Oh, but, oh, the colors in the background change. Very, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. A lot, a lot. Now, you know what? I'm actually, oh, that looks banging. I'm actually so happy with that. That looks sick. That Our guy looks like a Donny. That helmet's actually awesome. Let's get going. Oh, okay, we've got a presentation. Oh, oh, the F1, FOM... <laughs> <laughs> Inspirations back from last year's game. <laughs> Anyone else get reminded of the old F1 intro in that? Here we go. Oh, look at him. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Go on. We're going to make it past one race. Yeah. Woo. Right, we've got the calendar contract management, so you can contact other teams and assess, okay? We've got the technical staff, so chief engineer and data analyst that we can uh, look into. And then we've also got the uh, the headquarters for the engine, aero, frame, and electronics. We don't need any of that. We've, we've just got vibes, that's it. We can also set up a junior team, technically, but I can't even take care of myself, let alone another junior team. So let's leave that for someone more skilled but if you wanted to you could very very cool i love it like if that was a thing in f1 i would be all over this like i would be setting up two different teams yeah mo2 and mo3 i'll be setting up, up an f2 team an f3 team it's sick like this the uh, this I, I say it every year this game is sick. If I was actually, if I was born and bred a MotoGP fan and not an F1 fan, I would be all over this game playing this daily because it is just, the features are sick. I've just noticed something that's um a little concerning. Frederico Spada, right? Do you see any similarities to him and Jamie Ferrer? Now, I'm not saying we've signed... Someone who's a fraudster, but we that needs to be investigated. That can't run unless they're like identical long lost. <gasps> they're identical long lost twins, and we've reunited them. Oh, what a story! Right, we're gonna advance all the way through the calendar into a race because, as much as I'd want to do winter testing and get really into nitty gritty, you know, I know a lot about bikes. I think that would be unfair for the competition, to be honest. AI, diff AI difficulty, we can bump that all the way up, of course, because we're a, a master of this. Advanced, now, nah, hard, yes, yeah, even for realistic, extreme, yes, that's what we're all about. <coughs> Alright, moving on then. Penalties, tolerant, yep, cool. It's time to delve into the race at Mugello. We've skipped all the other races because we're just so good, okay? We need to give everyone a head start. 
and I thought that was only the, the, the fair thing to do. Also, at the same time, I think you guys have seen me do Qatar enough times in this whole playing the MotoGP career mode once every single year. So I thought we'd try a different circuit. Michello, I know the circuit somewhat from when we went there for F1. In many ways, that might be a hindrance because I'm going to look at it through F1 eyes. But screw it, let's go into quali and then the race. Good morning from Italy. We're coming to you from the Mugello circuit. The first MotoGP class qualifying session is about to start and riders will be fighting for the last two places available in Q2. There are some threatening clouds hovering over the circuit, but the track conditions are excellent and will most likely stay that way. Let's go. It is time. I always forget how beautiful this game looks. Unreal Engine. It does wonders. I'm actually, I can't wait for when potentially Codemasters move to the new Unreal 5 engine for proper next gen. I'm I really hope they do at some point for Formula 1. We'll have to see, but yeah, Unreal Engine or MotoGP always looks lovely. Oh, did he catch him on a qualifier, mate? Yeah, the Mercedes, they're just bouncing up and down, just like this, up and down, up and down. Ryder makes his way confidently to the bike, about to take to the track. Did he just say confidently? There's nothing confident here, mate. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. It's go time. It's go time. This is it, lads. This is it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh ho, ho, ho. it is always nerve-wracking coming back on the MotoGP games. No, easy, easy. I was just... I, okay, and... Uh, it, uh, what was that then? Five seconds? Five seconds it took. And now my bike is humping the ground. Good. Oh. Oh my god. What? I get to run around with our rider? Oh my. Oh, see ya, mate. See ya. See ya. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. This has now turned into an open world roaming game. See ya later. No longer MotoGP. We're actually gonna... We're gonna walk. We're gonna walk to Imola. Oh, that's not the way to Imola. That's the way to Imola. We're gonna run to Imola and join the Formula One circus. Here we go. <laughs> I don't I didn't expect this. Was this always part of OGP? <laughs> oh god, right. Okay. If we must Oh, okay. It, okay, okay, okay. They had enough of my they had enough of my shit and they wanted me to carry on. Right, we go again. This time taking it. Oh my old school riding there that was the lean in okay come on Arab. i can actually i can actually play this game somewhat i just need to concentrate on the break zones and tuck in there we go get the slipstream nice tuck in feel the power power bar zarko oh yellow flags yellow flags easy easy feather the break lean lee okay yeah okay this you know what this is made for me because the leaning usually is too extreme for me this is kind of what we want although i can't move the, I, I can't move the bike in a, in a smooth way come on off your pop let's get back on the bike get on the bike get get on the yeah there we go Come on, let's get the bike back. Here we go. Was this always part of it? Or have I, just, have I just not got an assist on that does that automatically for me? I don't know. Right, so, oh, invalid lap, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The fact I was off the bike maybe made it, made it invalid. I've decided the riding style I chose was actually so bad because the guy is just not leaning and vibes alone aren't going to turn this bike. Oh, my God. Lean, man, lean. Oh, there we go. Come on. Oh, no, no, another... Oh, screw it. Right, this is going to be... Oh, what a stunning lap time this is going to be. Oh, dearie me. That was like a three-minute lap time. Oh, three minute oh five. That's devastating. Right, going to do better. Come on. First corner. This time, not going to crash. Yes. Oh, come on. We missed the apex a bit. Oh, it's a 20-second improvement. Oh, you love to see it. When the pressure's on... Arava, player one delivers. Come on. Oh, okay. This is somewhat resembling some actual riding. Come on. That was some nice lean. Right, lift off here. This was a very difficult corner. Easy, easy. Oh, don't go too wide. Good. Right, get on the power now. Now, now, now. Full throttle. Come on. Now he's off. Nice, nice, nice. We're one minute. One minute improvement. You've never seen improvement like this in MotoGP history. That's because no one's so bad at the first go. But you've never seen it. Look at this. Are we going to take the grid by storm? This is it. This is it. Wide on the exit. One minute improvement. This is, come on, this surely be top five. Top five. Easy top five. B1. Come on. 
Come on! Seven tenths quicker than everyone! Have that! Have that! And that's on extreme difficulty, you know? Yeah, I went skiing the other day and the instructor made me go left, right, left, right, left, right. Now, I'm not going to do the second part of qualifying because, well, clearly, actually, I'm not too bad versus the AI I've set. So I'm going to start from a bit further back and we'll see how we go. Good morning from Gavin Emmett at the Magello Circuit. Or not? <laughs> what? No! No, it's raining! I've never tried this game in the wet! <laughs> oh, we're absolutely screwed. We're so screwed. We're so screwed. Right, so this is the scenario. A man who plays MotoGP once a year is now going to play his one race on this game in this career mode in the wet. Good. This is going to go just as badly as you think it's going to. Also, why is my man here on the right hand side? What's his eyes say? It looks like he's come back off the back of a uh, part life festival. He's had a bit too much of a good time. Right. Yes. Yeah. This all looks good. Yeah. Looks good. To We've got fuel. That's good. Tires. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Oh, God. This is going to go so bad. Oh, no. Everyone chose me. Oh, no. Some people chose mediums for their rear tyre. Some did not. That may come back to bite me later. Oh, my. What? Is that meant to happen? <laughs> is that meant to happen? There, I crashed on the formation lap. Not even my doing. The AI did that. Is that meant to happen? <laughs> In the game knows how much I'm going to suck in this race. Yep, red flag. Yep, red flag the race. Red flag. Red flag, mate. Red flag it. Oh, dear. Oh, it looks quite dramatic. To be honest. It look, this game looks even better in the rain. Not that that will matter to me because... Oh, God. Right. We're underway. <laughs> I'm just bricking it. I'm bricking it. How are we going... Oh, my. I must say, the graphics in the rain are exquisite. <laughs> They're actually epic. This looks sick. Right, we're down some positions. Right, come on. Come on, Arab. We need to channel that P1 form we had in the first part of quality. Here we go. Oh, okay. Round the outside. You know, lads, you're not, you know, channel your inner F1 drivers, guys. You need to go for the outside line, you know. Find that wider line that offers more grip. Okay, this next part's going to be interesting. This right-hander down the hill. Can we go on the outside? Easy. Easy, sunshine. Oh, bit of wobble on the bike, but we've held it on the inside. Oh, oh, up into P8. Come on, P7. Can we do it? No, maybe not this corner. Maybe, maybe. Tap the throttle. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. It was going so well. Get oh, God. The bike's all there over there. Get up, man. Come on. Why is he running like he's got 500 kg strapped to his back? Sorry, lads. Just, uh, yeah, just, uh, need to pick up the bike on the Sunday ride. Right, let's get back. Oh, I'm so far behind. I'm so far behind. And as if by magic, I've caught up to the pack. Ignore the fact it's lap uh, one still. That's, uh, you know, that's not relevant to the, to the story of this race. I've caught back up to the pack. It's now time to make my comeback. That rhymed, and I didn't mean it to. I am a rap god. And after this race, my money is not going to jiggle jiggle. It's going to fold. Oh, easy. Easy, sunshine. Good. I'm actually really good in this section. It's just the fact that I'm actually good in general versus this AI. It's just the fact that when I go too deep into a corner and uh, get off the bike... That is an issue. It's just like that. I didn't even mean to do that. Get back on it. Get back on it. This is turning into survive MotoGP. Can I survive this wet race with Mugello? Can I? Can I get to the end of one lap, please? Oh, no! Oh, I swear to God, I'm about to throw this controller. I'm about to throw this damn controller. Get on the bike, man. Uh, get off it. I'm actually scared now of getting off this bike. So I'm going slower. Slow and steady wins the race. Channel my inner James May. Captain Slow for the win. Just don't crash. Easy, Arab. Easy. Break when they break. Don't try and be a hero too early. Okay, easy. Nice. Oh, that was close. That was close. I need to also be wary. It is raining, even though I've got traction on. The bike is a bit unstable versus dry conditions. Right, this is the point where I, I crashed last time. 
Gonna take it easier now. Up the hill. Power. Power. Then a bit of break. Lean. Oh, I've been I've been knocked into the lean by a, another rider. That's fine. We're P17. We're slowly, slowly making our way through. Oh no. No! No! You Miller! Would you just please? Ha ha ha! It happened again. It happened. Where is my bike? Why is my bike all the way over there? This is now running simulator 22. Welcome to the new game. Oh, this is actually a, a good battle. Oh my god, that was actually quite good. This is tense. I actually I just want to survive a lap. I actually just want to survive a lap. Oh! This is actually really tense. This is the most tense experience ever. The bike just wobbles because we're in the wet. Oh! Okay. 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 We're actually even better than last race. We're in a very... No! -y. The bike wobbled. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. We're still... If I can finish one lap in the top ten... I'm going to count this as a massive victory. Get the line going. Right. Last corner. Don't muck it up, Arav. Don't muck it up. Break early. And then lean. Dab with the... Oh, oi, The bike's wobbling. Oh, round the outside. Oh, we're making moves. P7 for number seven. Come on. The run to the line. It's going to be... One lap done. We are the official MotoGP champions. That's how it works, how it works right? Yeah, yeah, we won it. We won everything. Celebratory crash to end. Guys, if you have enjoyed the video, smash the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're around here, then do get subscribed for more Formula 1 content, not MotoGP. But if you did like what you saw, you like me, stick around. And I'll catch you guys next time. Right. Let's get this bike up. It's time to ride off to Imola and join the F1 circus. Come on. Imola's this way, right? Yeah, come. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Let's go. Imola's this way, right? Cool.